What is going on guys? This is EK1 here and today's video we're going to be showing you the Stasis GM Warlock build. Now this build is a must have for the hard content in my opinion. This is what I'm going to be running for the GMs when they come out in a couple of weeks time. So get yourselves ready, get this Stasis build set up and basically just freeze everything over and over. Now, it'd be helpful if you guys would like to support the channel, if you could hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell. That way you won't miss any of our future build videos. We had a lot of good views on our Hunter build for the Void 3.0 and also the Warlock Void 3.0 build as well. So if we can get this video to 300 likes, that would be absolutely incredible. And also... The whole build will be on Destiny Item Manager. The link will be in the description. So if you want to just upload the whole build without having to mess around, just use the link in the description for this build on Destiny Item Manager. With all that out of the way and being said, well, let's get straight into the build video. So, of course, we are going to be running the Stasis subclass. Now, for the Rift, we're going for the Healing Rift, Burst Glide Jump, Penumbral Blast, and the Cold Snap Grenade. Aspect wise, we're going to go for Glacial Harvest, which is a freezing target to create stasis shards around the frozen targets. Higher tier combatants create more shards. It also gives us two fragment slots. And then we're going to go for Ice Flare Bolts. So shattering a frozen target spawns seekers that track and freeze other nearby targets. This also gives us another two fragment slots. Then for the fragments, we're going Whisper of Conduction. So nearby stasis shards track to your position. This also gives you 10 resilience and 10 intellect. Whisper of Change. While you are near frozen targets or a friendly stasis crystal, you take reduced damage from targets. This also gives us 10 recovery. Whisper of Rending. Kinetic weapons do increased damage to stasis crystals and frozen targets. And then Whisper of Torment. You gain grenade energy each time you take damage from targets. This is going to be good, especially for like GMs and stuff like that. So every time you take any damage, you're going to grenade, uh, gain grenade energy. It's going to have your grenade back pretty much all the time. So weapon wise, we're going to run the uh, Osteo Striga. So this is uh, pr pretty much one of the best guns in the game, I believe, right now. Anyway, for ad clearing. And that toxic overload really does help out clearing ads. And of course, we're going to get a buff on the damage of this as well. As well as the toxic overload and everything else that comes with it. So I'm going to use this because we're going to have overload on as well. As a secondary, I do run a bow. Um, this is the under the skin bow. Um, firmly planted, explosive head. Now, you'll understand why we're using these in just a second. However, you can switch this out to something that you suit more if you want to have a pulse rifle on for unstoppable, etc. Rocket launcher wise, we're going to run the Palmyra B. Now, if I wasn't running the Striga, I would run the Galahorn here because the Galahorn is really good for champions, you know, barriers and stops and stuff like that. But I'm going to run the Palmyra B with uh, auto loading holster and explosive light. So for the helmet, we've gone for a solar helmet. Although you don't have to have a solar helmet here, you can have any. We've gone for a minor resilience mod. Kinetic Siphon, so Rapid Kinetic Weapon Final Blows create an orb of power. And then we've gone Rocket Launcher Ammo Finder. So you can double up on the um, Kinetic Siphon, but really, to be fair, we want Rocket Launcher Ammo, and it does drop quite a lot with this mod equipped. We are then going for Elemental Charge. So you become Charge of Light by picking up an Elemental Well. If the Elemental Well's element type matches your subclass element, you gain two stacks of charge with light. And then, because we are running the um, uh, Grasp of Avarice, the um, helmet from there, so you get an extra mod slot, we're going to go for Psionic Forging 2. So it increases the duration of the Land Tank Origin trait and the effect of the Hack Breach or Armament Origin trait. That was a big word to say. So, we're running this because, if you notice here, we have Land Tank on our Combat Bow. And then we have the uh, Hacker Breach Armaments on the Palmyra B. So it's going to buff both of those up. For the Gauntlets, we are running Void Gauntlets. And these are the new exotic Gauntlets. So it's uh, Osmiomancy Gloves. So we're going to get these with Recovery on. Overload Rounds. Piercing Bowstring. These are good for uh, Barrier Champions. And then Reaping Wowmaker. So these will need to be Void for the Reaping Wowmaker mod. So after activating your class ability, your next weapon final blow on a combatant spawns a Void Elemental Wow. 
So really, these two mods here, you can change. You can just pick whatever you want. If you want Barrier Scout or you want to change for Unstoppable uh, Hand Cannons or Pulse Rifle, just change those out as you please. For the chest piece, we're going Void again. And this is because we're going to run Well of Tenacity. So picking up a Void Elemental Well reduces the damage that you take from combatants for a short period of time. We're going to put a recovery mod on here. Thermoshock plating, so reduces incoming solar and arc damage. And then we're running void resistance, so we've reduces incoming void damage from combatants. So we've got arc, solar, and void damage all reduced. This is going to be very good for the GMs. We're then running some stasis boots. Again, recovery mod. And then secondary, we're going to go for Absolution. So reduces all ability cooldowns each time you pick up an orb of power. Works well because we are uh, generating orbs of power when we're killing NPCs. So this is going to help us get that grenade back even faster. Orbs of Restoration. So picking up an orb of power grants a small amount of energy to your ability with the least energy. And then we're going to run Elemental Shards. So if you see my video yesterday, you do have time still when this releases to go and grab it from Ada if you don't have this mod. But definitely go and grab Elemental Shards. Now this basically is Stasis Shards count as a Stasis Elemental Well for you, but does not apply to Crucible Trials or Iron Banner. So basically Stasis Shards count as Stasis Elemental Wells. Warlock Bond, we're running a Solar Bond. And we're going to go Recovery again. We're going to have Bomber on there. And then high energy fire. So while charge of light, you gain a bonus weapon damage. Each defeated combatant consumes one stack of charge of light. So we're going to charge up uh, our light. And then we're going to use uh, potentially the rocket launcher to do extra damage when we use it. So we should have two uh, times two charge of light. Um, and then we can basically do extra damage with those rockets. Getting rid of those uh, champions or the uh, bigger NPCs. So just a couple of things to note with this build. If you are using the cold snap grenade and you hit an NPC with it and it bounces off the NPC, you do get that grenade instantly back. As you could see that I was doing it to the ogre earlier on. But however, even if you don't hit the NPCs, you do get it back quite quick. It's pretty easy. We're running a master loss sector here. Um, my light's quite low actually on my warlock and we didn't have any trouble sort of getting through NPCs. You can see the Striga does really well as well with the ad clear, but that grenade um, cooldown time is really good. You just keep coming back pretty much all the time. If you do hit the NPCs, like I say, you get it back instantly. Now, with that being said, that is the end of today's video. I really do appreciate you watching this video. Let me know if you would change anything. As usual, we're always open for feedback on these builds. There will be more builds coming out. I'll be doing some more Hunter builds. Also, there'll be a Titan build coming out as soon as I have leveled my Titan up enough to be able to showcase the build that I'm going to run. But with that being said, guys, don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share this video with your friends, and leave me a comment in the comment section below telling me how you found this build. Did you enjoy it? Did you not enjoy it? Is there anything you would change? Take care, everybody. Stay safe, and I'll see you all in the next video.